But I have here Francesc Marco, who is the uh, general manager assistant at Innovaciones para Etiquetas. I didn't pronounce that entirely correctly, Francesc, but I'm sure you'll, you'll forgive me. <laughs> terrible Spanish. Thank you very much. Um, Francesc is also the uh, president of the uh, Young Young Managers Association, which is uh, set up by Finat, I believe, two years ago, Francesc? Uh, yeah, it was set up in, uh, in Paris, yeah. yep. uh, officially launched in, in Turkey right. uh, during the General Congress of Finat uh, two yep. years ago. Fantastic, thank you. So, um, how many years have you been coming to Label Expo Brussels for, Francesc? I've been coming to Label Expo Brussels since uh, more or less 10 years ago. I started 10 years ago, so oh. already a long time. Right. Uh, so, yeah, we have seen the evolution of the, exhi uh, of the exhibition. Right. And why do you come to the show in particular? Yeah, mainly, uh, of course, it's a good opportunity to, to meet with uh, suppliers. Uh, especially the uh, machine manufacturers because uh, they normally show you uh, new new products uh, during the, the during the show uh, but also other suppliers like new suppliers material suppliers uh, it's also a good uh, way to meet sit down see the trends in the market also speak to colleagues mm. and uh, yeah this is one of the main reasons right and have you seen any particularly exciting technology in the last couple of days? Uh, yeah, I have seen a couple of things really interesting and then, of course, a lot of improvements. Uh, I would say that the thin liner development uh, for die cutting, uh, 12 microns liner, mm. so it looks uh, really nice. Mm. I mean, it's, uh, it's a trend in the market to go to, uh, to thinner materials. Mm. Uh, it's uh, related to cost as well as related to the environment. Uh, so a lot, yeah, I would say that a lot of customers are demanding thinner materials, uh, not only for labels, also uh, for bottles. If you look now, the bottles of water, you every time are thinner and thinner. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's a trend, and of course the label market has to be uh, also in this trend. Right, right. And so, well, what about the digital? Digital seems to be, be the big one of the big buzzes. We're in digital hall here. Is, is digital of interest to you? Uh, digital, of course, it's a technology that it's, it's growing. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's growing not only in terms of customers, uh, of, let's say printers, uh, printing in digital, also the number of uh, machine manufacturers that are supplying digital machines. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning was much more concentrated in a few companies, but now you can really find a lot of uh, different uh, machine manufacturers supplying digital. And uh, yeah, digital has its own uh, market, of course, uh, and it's uh, developing the technology as well. Uh, if uh, every time they are going faster, uh, so it's a technology that uh, it's uh, it's interesting, uh, as well as other technology that are, are also developing uh, new uh, new and faster ways to produce and uh, even better quality every time, flex offset, of course, and so on. Crazy, and. We hear a lot, of, a lot of the negative things about the European economy at the moment, um, but how, how are you finding things as a labour converter? I, I sense a, a degree of um, optimism among yeah. people at the show, so how are you finding the market at the moment? Uh, of course, the general economic situation is not as good as some years before. Uh, the only way we can handle it is uh, to look to the positive things. So let's take this crisis or this less positive economy as a good opportunity to develop and think uh, for new things. So let's, let's find what we can improve, let's find what we can uh, develop for new products that fit the new needs of our customers and uh, this, uh, at least for our market, will be the solution. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Frank.